we left quite early Friday morning, flew to Chicago, everything on time. And then the flight was due to leave maybe three o'clock uh, from Chicago down to Washington. But the weather was kind of bad. We were a little bit late leaving. And as a result of being late, I got into Washington late and I missed the flight. I had reservations on to Roanoke. So I was put on standby for the next flight going to Roanoke, which happened to be flight 349. So I'm standing at the gate with all the people and the gate attendant came and opened up the gate and all the people that he, you know, went out that had reservations on the flight, I reckon, went out and the gate attendant walked out to the plane and he I went in the plane. I, I guess he went in to count them, but then he came back out and walked over to the, those of us who were still there at the gate. And he asked us to whether or not any of us had reservations that, on an earlier flight. And I said, yes, I did. And as other people said, they did. So he looked at different tickets as well as my own. And then he looked at me and said, all right, Mr. Bradley, get aboard. So I went over there and got on it. And the only seat available was a single seat at the right rear of the plane. And I remember getting on the plane. The purser was standing there. I said, how you doing there, buddy? He said, doing fine. How you doing? I said, I'm good. He said, have a seat. And that was the only seat available. And... Uh, <clears throat> So I sat down and they closed the doors up and and we taxied it out and there was a lady sitting right across the aisle from me and I reached over there because it was a pretty I had a pretty view of the Washington Monument and so I tapped her on the arm and I said you'd like to see a pretty picture of the Washington Monument or a view of the Washington Monument she said I sure would so she, anyway she lowered her head down looked out my window she said that is a pretty sight and that's the last conversation I ever had with anybody.